Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to online class of Government Haji Muhammad Mohsin College, Chattogram. I am Muhammad Muntasi Moshet, lecturer in English, Government Haji Muhammad Mohsin College. I am a uh, 31st BCS Education Officer. And we are very grateful to the government that the digital advancement the govern uh, this government made has uh, helped us a lot in this pandemic situation though you are not in front of me in the class uh, classroom but we are virtually connected today we will read unit 5 lesson 2 folk music our today's lesson objective is student will know about folk music i hope you all know about folk music Folk music is the music of common people. Today we will read about uh, a passage from our English for today text on folk music. This is the text and uh, why we will read this sort of text? This, uh, this, uh, this textbook or our questions are designed to build our reading skills and we, you all know that there are four skills in a language reading skill writing skill listening skill speaking skill the first three questions of english for two today our uh, english first paper is based uh, on uh, this reading skill these are designed to judge your reading ability and in the question paper you will get three passes and from the passes one you will have to answer multiple choice questions and then you will have to uh, answer few questions from uh, passage two you have to answer flow chart or uh, information gap activity or uh, you have information gap activity means you have to fill up the uh, table in the third passage uh, uh, you have to write the summary of that third process. So uh, today we are reading about folk music from our English for today text and the first um, lesson two it is on the folk music uh, of Bangladesh. Folk music consists of songs and music of a community that are uninfluenced by any sophisticated musical rules or any standard music styles. Folk music consists of songs and music. That means folk, in folk music there is song and there is music and that music tells about us uh, of the community. That means this is the folk music or folk song is the voice of a community, a group of people who and this music is uh, not influenced by any sophisticated musical rules or any standard music styles. Sophisticated, that means modern musical rules or redefined musical rules. Say, uh, there we know about Robindra uh, Shongit, Nosrul Shongit. These are considered sophisticated music. And folk music, and this is also uh, called the music of learned person. This is also called the music of modern man, Nasrul Giti, Rabindra uh, Giti. These are considered in this way. And we have band song, pop song, lots of genres of songs. They follow some sort of styles and some sort of rules. But folk music doesn't follow any written rules, any specific rules. This uh, this thing is mentioned in the first line of this passage. Folk music consists of songs and music of a community that are uninfluenced by any sophisticated musical rules or any standard music styles. That so again, I am repeating that folk music is not influenced by uh, any musical rules or styles. Is the uh, thinking of common people, the people who live in the countryside. 
Bangladesh has a heritage of rich folk music which includes both religious and secular songs. Bangladesh has a heritage of rich folk music. Bangladesh has a rich folk music tradition. Kubi rich. Amra Jodi Nodi Gulu Dure Hagai. Konnofuli Pare Shampanola Gangai. Our Potter Pare, Mekhar Pare, Ganga, Shurma Nodi Pare Ogan. Shop Nodi Par Dore Dore John of Potulu. I am Shay John of Potter Gan Hutse, Bangladesh Ruetse. Shay John of Hawaii Gan, but he learned on a thorough Gan of Gangai. Then Bangladesh. A Kothati Katabola, which Bangladesh has a heritage of rich folk music, which includes both religious and secular songs. Among A Gangulu Duto Hakebako, Kurece, Lekok, Tahuce religious, are Artihuce secular. Religious song, Jacan Sostake Kodahuce, Avong Adaptikota Kotapole, are secular song, Shekane, Thormoniro Pet Kota Kotapole. Jacane. মানুষের সাধারণ জীবন যাপন মানুষের কৃষ্টি কালচার এগুলো নিয়ে কথা বলে সেগুলো হচ্ছে সেকুলার সং আর রিলিজিয়াস সং যেখানে আধ্যাত্মিকতা মানুষকে মানুষ তার সৃষ্টিটাকে পাওয়ার জন্য যে আকাঙ্ক্ষা সেই আকাঙ্ক্ষার কথাগুলো এই গানের মধ্যে ফুটে ওঠে ফোক মিউজিক মে বি ডেসক্রাইবড অ্যাজ দ্যাট টাইপ অফ অ্যানসিয়েন্ট মিউজিক হুইচ স্প্রিংস फ्रॉम দ্য হার্ট অফ এ কমিউনিটি Folk music may be described as that type of ancient music. It is among the Prachin Gan Hishebe Songaito Karaja, which springs from, which originated from, that means Jetar Putti Huetse, from the heart of a community. Ekta Shampro Dair Ridoi Tiki, Eti Ridoi Ningranoga. Among, based on their natural style of expression. এবং এখানে তারা যেভাবে স্বাভাবিকভাবে চলে সে যেভাবে স্বাভাবিকভাবে কথা বলে যেটা তাদের নিজের মুখের ভাষা সেই ভাষায় গানগুলোকে কি করা হয়েছে রচনা করা হয়েছে এখানে চলিত ভাষায় সে লিখে নেবে গানগুলো ফোক মিউজিক রচনা করা হয় তার মুখের ভাষা তার মায়ের ভাষা আঞ্চলিক ভাষায় and uninfluenced by the rules of classical music and modern popular songs এবং আমরা যে ক্লাসিক্যাল গানগুলো শুনি উচ্চাঙ্গ সংগীতের কথা জানি সেই উচ্চাঙ্গ সংগীতে কিছু গ্রামার আছে সেই গ্রামারটা এখানে ফলো করা হয়নি বা এটার প্রভাব এখানে নেই আবার মডার্ন পপুলার সংস আমরা বিভিন্ন ব্যান্ডের গান জানি সেগুলো আধুনিক ভাষায় রচিত আমরা জীব পঞ্চপাণ্ডবের গানের কথা জানি তো এই গানগুলো এই গানগুলোর ক্ষেত্রে কিছু রুলস রেগুলেশন ফলো করে গান এগিয়ে যায় সেই জন্য নজরুল সঙ্গীতের জন্য আলাদা বই আছে গানের নিয়মাবলী নিয়ে রবীন্দ্রসঙ্গীতের আলাদা বই আছে কিন্তু আমাদের বাংলাদেশে ফোক মিউজিকে দিস রুলস আর নট ফলোড এনি মোড আর ফর্ম ক্রিয়েটেড বাই দ্য কম্বিনেশন অফ টিউন ভয়েস and dance may be described as music. This line is giving us the definition of music. So to be music, what we need? We need tune, shoot darka, we need voice, our kotha darka, and we need dance um, nach darka, nach bote, gangawa shumoy, jekon gangawa shum amada ridoy dule ute, ridoy shata shata amada shoriro dule ute. জন্য মিউজিক হতে গেলে এই তিনটা কম্বাইন করতে হবে ইউ নিড টু কম্বাইন টিউন ভয়েস অ্যান্ড ডান্স ইন ফর ক্রিয়েটিং মিউজিক দাস সো দ্য কম্বিনেশন অফ ফোক সং ফোক ডান্স অ্যান্ড ফোক টিউন মে বি কল্ড ফোক মিউজিক তাহলে ফোক মিউজিক হতে গেলে এই তিনটা কম্বিনেশন লাগবে তবে এই তিনটার সাথে একটা বাড়তি অ্যাডজেকটিভ এখানে যোগ হচ্ছে ফোক শব্দটা that means that is the song of the folk that means common people village people and this is the uh, dance of the folk people and this is the uh, tune of the folk amra jokhon kono baul gan shunbo tokhon amra dekhte parbo je ei bhabe ek tara niye baul tar nijer moner moto kore niche niche gan gay tale gane kotha ache gane er moddhe shur ache ebong gane er moddhe ki thake 
ডান্সও থাকে সো ফোক মিউজিক হতে গেলে এই তিনটি সমন্বয় থাকতে হয় ফোক সং ফোক ডান্স অ্যান্ড ফোক টিউ এটি কল ফোক ফর ফর এক্সাম্পল বাউল সংস আর কম্বিনেশন অফ টিউন মিউজিক অ্যান্ড ডান্স সো ওয়ান এভার ইউ উইল হ্যাভ লিসেন টু বাউল মিউজিক ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড দিস কম্বিনেশন অফ টিউন মিউজিক অ্যান্ড ডান্স নাও ইন দিস স্লাইড উইল রিড অ্যাবাউট দ্য ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স অফ ফোক মিউজিক folk music follows some sort of characteristics it has some characteristics and it has some attributes we will read these attributes from the text it is composed by rural folk on the basis of ancient rules transmitted orally so uh, it the rules of folk music are not organized one like the rules of rabindra uh, rabindranath uh, song but it has some basic and did that basis a uh, uh, base comes uh, from ancient times okay ancient old times that means the rules of folk music are very old one a traditional one and uh, they, uh, they have no uh, written form so the uh, rules uh, are transmitted orally or verbally তাইলে এই রুলটা কি হয়েছে ফোক মিউজিকের যে রুলটা আছে সেটা ভার্বালি কমিউনিকেট করা হয়েছে অর্থাৎ মুখে মুখে এটা আমাদের প্রাচীনতম ছড়ার দিকে যদি যাই প্রাচীনকালের সাহিত্যের দিকে যদি তাকাই তখন দেখতে পাবো যে ওখানে রিটার্ন ফর্ম ছিল না লিখিত রূপ ছিল না সেই লিখিত রূপের জায়গায় আমরা পেয়েছি কি ভার্বাল মানে সেগুলো ভার্বালি মুখে মুখে প্রচলিত ছিল সেই জন্য আমরা যখন কোনো ফোক মিউজিকের ইয়েতে দেখতে যাব যে দেখবো যেটা গীতিকারকে ওইখানে অনেক সময় লেখা থাকে প্রচলিত দ্যাট মিনস ট্রেডিশনাল ইট ইস উই ফলো ইট ফ্রম আওয়ার এনশিয়ান টাইম দ্যাট ওকে নো সোর্স ইজ ফাউন্ড হু ইজ দ্য মেকার অফ দ্য সং ইট ইস নট ফাউন্ড ফর মেনি সংস বাট দোজ আর পপুলার সংস নাম্বার two characteristics is that these ancient rules of music have not been influenced by classical and modern music we uh, discussed it in the first part that means uh, these ancient rules of music have not been influenced by classical and modern music so classical music and modern music do not have any influence on folk music okay but now it is uh, they are uh, people are uh, making fusion of modern art form that means people are singing folk songs the traditional songs using modern instrument like guitar drums etc but the old musical instrument ektara uh, totara these are old instruments but nowadays uh, people are singing folk music with modern instrument no regular practice is uh, sorry uh, third number third is folk songs may be sung in groups or individually so folk song can, uh, is sung uh, by groups uh, there is sharish song and jarish song and uh, individually we say uh, lavan song we sing lavan song individually so folk song can be sung in groups or individually number 4 no regular practice is required for folk music so you can uh, sing if you have a good voice and you have some ideas about music you can sing folk music without practice but uh, it is not possible for uh, high form of or, uh, classical music okay you cannot sing classical music without practice because um, you need lots of variation in your voice for singing classical music or gospel okay but folk music uh, you uh, do not need that much practice it is one of the characteristics of uh, folk music and uh, number 5 it is composed and performed by illiterate or semi literate people uh, rabindranath uh, studied in london and uh, dl rai uh, they um, uh, are learn person they 
and um, uh, if you uh, go for um, modern singers, you will say that they are literate persons and graduate, they are graduate or postgraduate persons. Okay, educated persons. But the folk singers or the uh, writer of folk songs uh, may not have any form of formal education. Okay, uh, they uh, didn't even go, or go to uh, school as well. Okay, so uh, it is composed, it is composed and performed gawa hai, by illiterate or semi literate people. Say, you, uh, one of the uh, major singers of folk singers of Bangladesh is Kangalini Sufia. So she doesn't have formal education, but she is a good singer. Pora Nirvanthobre. Budi Hoilam Tor Karuni, the one of the famous songs and one of my favorite songs. This song is sung with, uh, she sung so beautifully that, uh, uh, and it has thought, but uh, the singers and composers are not educated persons, but they are educated by heart, not formally, they are not tra uh, trained formally, but they have a heart, they have good mind and it is pure mind. Then number six, it is a spontaneous expression in easy language, local dialect and simple tune. So uh, whenever you will compare the folk music with classical music, you will find that the classical music uh, or the music of Rabindranath Thakur, um, uh, to understand them we need some sort of study. But whenever we listen to the folk music, they are clearly expressed. So we don't need to read uh, or any further study to understand the folk music. Okay, and uh, uh, folk music uses uh, local dialect and simple tune. Local dialect, local dialect means we have many dialects, the Chittaganian language, the language of Noakali, the language of hill tracks, the language of uh, other parts of Bangladesh, Sileti language we know about, uh, they are not formal language, they are informal language, but they are the language of people's heart. So that's why when a folk singer uh, sings, uh, a folk singer sings from Bang uh, Chittagan, uh, uh, he uses Chittaganian local dialect. The dialect of Chittagan. That's why, Ore yo Sampan wala. It's uh, a bit use of local language, very simple, and we just move when we listen to the sort of music. Both words and tunes are appealing. So, uh, folk music has lots of appeal. Abedon moi. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Despite its universal appeal, appeal, it uses local dialect. Both words and tunes are appealing. And this appeal is very much universal. That means, uh, say, uh, for your kind information, uh, people of Japan uh, start, uh, does, uh, do research on the song of Lalong Chai. Okay, so how? Uh, from uh, A man of Kushtia influence the mind of Japanese people. The mind, a, a developed country, Japan is a developed country, but a man from Kustia uh, had a great influence on those people. So, uh, that means folk music has universal appeal, uh, global appeal, and but it use its local flavor. Okay. Uh, if you listen uh, to folk music of different parts of the world, you will get the flavor of the soil, of different regions of the world. Okay. 
it depends upon nature and the rural environment. So folk music depends upon nature. Al prokriti rupori kia chhe. Mai prok ni phorota chhe. Folk music ke jono prokriti shat ekti shompor ko chhe and the rural environment. Gramin jono pote ekti shompor shompor ko chhe. A shore a katta katta concrete is no good in Mote, Kiasol folk music hobby. Folk music get no di lagby, folk music get no one lagby, folk music get no pahar lagby, Pakil can't shoot the way. I'm sorry, I'm a kaka, our Sarakia gets shoot the way, shoot the way. Tale, I can cook in a goo, I watch national to let her give away folk can leave. So it depends upon nature and the rural environment. It is an explicit manifestation of the joys and sorrows of daily life. So it displays, it uh, exhibits uh, the joys and sorrows. Anundo vedona katha bolle. Kuch kisi anundo vedona? Amader patoik jibone daily life. Amader patoik jibone je anundo vedona. She anundo vedona ar katha folk music ke uthe ashe. That means it is an explicit, direct expression of joys and sorrows of daily life. And it uses simple and natural rhythms. The rhythms is very much simple. Uh, as I am a student of University of Chicago, uh, we uh, sang those folk music in our shuttle train. And so we, we did not need any uh, instrument there, only the beating the wall of the train we, we make. Uh, many minutes and we enjoyed our student life singing this sort of songs and it contains a strong emotive expression of human love and separation uh, folk music bhalo bashar kotha bole ebong folk music bichheder kotha bole then love and separation so jokhon kichu folk music কিছু গান শুনবে তখন তোমরা দেখতে পাবে যে তোমার কান নাচছে আবার কিছু গান শুনলে তোমার আনন্দ আসবে সো দিস ইজ দা ক্যারেক্টার দিস আর দা ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিকস অফ ফোক মিউজিক নাও সাম ইম্পর্টেন্ট ওয়ার্ডস ইউ হ্যাভ টু রিড দা প্যাসেজ অফ ইউ টেক্সট এন্ড ইউ হ্যাভ টু গিভ কনসেন্ট্রেশন অন ভোকাবুলারি if you do not give concentration on vocabulary if you do not learn the words and their meaning and their synonyms and antonyms uh, after you hsc you will have to suffer because in many uh, admission test the vocabulary and strength of the students uh, work power of the students uh, is just so be aware of the vocabulary and to do uh, well in a uh, uh, to do well in uh, to do good in some uh, language in a foreign language you need vocabulary you have to concentrate on the vocabulary so the first word is heritage it means custom inheritance custom and inheritance it means protha traditional systems uh, which we got from our forefathers secular it uh, secular something secular talks about the world worldly things and materialistic things okay and uh, the next word is community it is about a society a group of people who live together transmitted uh, when something some message is conveyed to others when the news is spread uh this is called transmitted the news is transmitted the news amra khobor choriye dewa ba kono kichu ke onner kache prokash kora seta ke transmitted bolte pari tale conveyed spread and communicated dialect ami ekta the meaning is language dialect man ancholik bhasha ke dialect bole prottek bhashari tar onchol bhede kichu kichu ভেরিয়েশন আছে সেই ভেরিয়েশনগুলোকেই ডাইরেক্ট বলে যেমন আমরা চিটা গানের ভাষায় যে চিটা গানের ভাষায় কথা বলে সে কিন্তু মানে চিটা গান থেকে যখন কুমিল্লায় যাবে বা ফেনিতে যাবে বা সেই কমফোর্ট ফিল করবে না কারণ এটা তার বাপদা তার ভাষা ডায়ালেক্টটা হচ্ছে যাবে ইন দ্য ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ দ্য ফোর ফাদার্স এক্সপ্লিসিট ইজ ওভার অ্যান্ড ওপেন 
that means something which is not implicit, which is direct. Okay. That means explicit means overt and open. So now uh, time for classwork. Uh, we have to answer the following questions. So uh, each uh, in the examination, uh, five questions will be given. Okay, and uh, these questions uh, you have to answer in uh, uh, using two or three sentences uh, because uh, there are um, two marks for each questions. So what do you mean by folk music? So folk music is the music of common people and it uh, is the combination of folk uh, music, song and dance of village people. Okay, it is composed by literate or uh, semi-literate semi or illiterate person. Okay. The next question is what does folk music express? Folk music express what? Our emotions with simple rhythms, with natural language, with local dialect. And uh, folk music expresses what? Folk music expresses our sorrows, our joys of daily life. Okay, regular life. Uh, which are those people? Those people who uh, are the farmers, who are the fishermen, who are the boatmen. Okay, so this is uh, the answer of the uh, second questions. In the examination, we'll use two to three sentences for writing the answers. Uh, this is the flowchart. Uh, this thing is new for you. Uh, you haven't got it in your uh, SSC life. Uh, this that you think added in the HSC question paper, and that is uh, you have. You will be told to make a flowchart showing the main characteristics of folk music. That means in the question there will be a direction you have to pick it up. The characteristics of folk music. We have to write uh, these things. And there will be six boxes and uh, these boxes uh, you have to draw these boxes in your answer scripts and uh, you have to give the serial numbers and to write the flowchart uh, you have to follow these things and this uh, here the first characteristics of folk song is mentioned like that rural product rural product okay folk music uses um, uh, is the rural product then uh, I can give you some uh, Sample answer for the uh, second one. You can write that. Um, use of local dialect. You can use that thing. One thing we have to keep in mind that we cannot use punctuation mark in for uh, flowchart in the boxes, and we have we cannot use full sentence. We have to use only the informations or incomplete structure or non finite structures of sentence. In our next classes, we'll deal with those things. But today, I'm not uh, going to deal with these things. And uh, so, here are some sample answers for you. Uh, another thing, though, in the question, I made a mistake that I uh, write the first letter in capital. You don't use capital letter. So the first one is rural product. Then folk music is verbally communicated. I cannot write folk music is verbally communicated. Rather, I will write uh, verbally communicated. Because in the question it is mentioned, what are you writing about? We are writing about folk music and its characteristics. So. Uh, Subject is in the question, so we don't need to mention subject here. Verbally communicated, sung by groups or individuals, performed by illiterate or semi-literate persons, use of local language, and expressions of sorrows and joys. Uh, 
we can write sung by instead of sung by groups we can write uh, singing by groups or individuals or we can write groups or individual singing uh, performance of illiterate and semi illiterate person uh, using of local dialect or language we can write in this way okay so uh, these are the ways of answering flow chart it will come in the question number 2 okay uh, so thank you uh, today uh, for listening to my class um, though it is uh, virtual communication inshallah after this new normal situation or after the pandemic we will meet again but one thing you have to keep in your mind you have to read regularly in your house you have and maintain all the uh, safety measures uh, taken by the governments wash your hands regularly use sanitizer and use mask thank you thank you all